I knew it. And so did Rosie. You were cheating all this time. Elisha, you weren't supposed to see that. You were supposed to be in town buying cheese, remember? Why are you lying to me? Don't act the innocent party in this. I was at Rosie's, you stupid idiot. Now stop gaslighting. I saw you kissing the blonde bimbo over there. Who the fuck is that? Hi, love. My name is Patty. Putty? What sort of name is that? I recognize you from somewhere. I can't put the name to the place. Well, of course you'll recognize her. You know when we went out to the red carpet restaurant earlier on in the year for our date? Well, Patty here was our waitress. I'm so glad I scooped her up. I got her number that night and it's been nothing but sex and physical contact since. Daniel. What? You know, I knew you would be jealous. This is the exact reason I didn't tell you about it. Just because I have two girlfriends now doesn't mean we can't all get along and be happy together, does it? I didn't think you would mind. Sorry. I'm not jealous. I cannot believe that on our date night you picked up some ugly mutt and prefer her over me. By the way, I am not your girlfriend, I am your wife, who you made a commitment to. And I cannot believe that you thought I wouldn't mind. I have always been committed to you Elisha. But now I am committed to Patty now too. How about Patty has me half of the week and you have me the other half? That way there's no favoritism shown or jealousy going on. You can stuff your split shifts between Putty and I. It's Patty thank you very much. Oh shut your face. You can stuff your split shifts. I want nothing more to do with you. Get out of my house and my domain. I never want to see you again Daniel. I don't want you and dad to be over. I'm so sorry boys. You can blame your father entirely. He has ruined this family. But we still have each other and us three should keep looking after each other.